in this lesson, we're going to work on dividing mixed numbers. Of course, our goal is to do exactly that. Our objective is to divide mixed numbers so that we can calculate missing dimensions of a rectangle when we are given a theory. All right, some basic skills that we have to have. Uh, you would have to be able to multiply fractions or divide fractions. And the important characteristics, of course, you have to be able to multiply, uh, sorry, you have to convert back and forth between mixed numbers and improper fractions. All right, so we're looking at these pieces. And to find our quotient, we're taking 5 divided by 2 and a half. Fairly straightforward. Both of these numbers we need to have in fraction form. 5, we know that we can write as a fraction by putting it as 5 over 1. For 2 and a half, we know that it's multiply, then add. 2 times 2 gives you 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And so we would have 5, keeping the same denominator of 2. And so here we have 5 over 1 divided by 5 over 2. Now, when we went over dividing fractions, we had two different methods that we can write it out. We discussed that you can multiply by the reciprocal, thinking of it as same change flip. We would have had 5 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 5. And so one way that we could divide fractions is by rewriting them as multiplication, taking 5 times 2 to get 10, and 1 times 5 to get 5. And so there's our answer, 10 over 5. We also discussed, though, that we had this cross-multiplying method that a lot of students prefer just because it's less writing. But if you remember, dividing fractions you could multiply them to get your numerator and your denominator. 5 times 2 would give you 10. 1 times 5 is 5. And you'll notice we've got the same answer, 10 over 5, either way we do it. Well, I don't care how you do it. As long as you have the ability to multiply by fractions, we don't care which... As long as you have the ability to divide fractions, we don't care which way you choose to do it. Either way, we look at this and say 10 divided by 5 is the whole number of 2, so we've got our answer and we're done. Now, for the sake of this video, because my class preferred the cross-multiplication method, that's the one that I'm going to use in the video. All right, what if we flip it around? 2 and a half divided by 5. Well, we just saw that 2 and a half when we multiply and add, would be 5 over 2. And we just saw that 5 can be the fraction 5 over 1. Now that we've got them written in their fractional form, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and so we have the fraction 5 over 10. Naturally, this is one that we would simplify down to get just 1 over 2. One half. Done. All right, three and three fourths divided by two and a half. Multiply and add. Three times four is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen. All right, fifteen over four divided by five halves. All right, so five times two is thirty. 5 times 4 is 20, and so here's our answer in improper fraction form, 30 over 20. At this stage, I like to simplify because I think smaller numbers are easier to work with, and so simplifying 30 over 20, we can divide out by 10, writing it in its equivalent form, 3 over 2. This is still a correct answer. However, even though it's correct, it's not in the format we want. Our original problem gave us mixed numbers. Our answer should have mixed numbers. And so we've seen before that to convert back from an improper fraction to a mixed number, we'll take 3 divided by 2, which is 1 remainder 1. So that's a whole number of 1 remainder of 1 
keeping the same denominator for dust. Four and one sixth divided by one and two thirds. Eight. Multiply and add gives us twenty five. Keeping the same denominator of six. Multiply and add would give us five over three. And I know that I could use this cross multiplying method for dividing. That's fine. This particular one, though, I actually want to go through multiply the reciprocal just for the sake of showing that we can do it that way. Showing extra work. So multiplying straight across then, 5 times 3 gets us 75. 6 times 5 is 30. And so there's our answer, 75 over 30. Once again, we want to simplify those. So what number will divide into both 75 and 30? Right, 5 will work. So divide by 5. 75 divided by 5, that's, so that goes 15 times. 30 divided by 5, that's 6. Now can this be simplified further? No. Okay, so we've got one answer, no. Well, if it doesn't simplify further, then we're going to stop here and say, let's convert this back to a mixed number. Okay, now you're seeing the 3. All right, so we'll divide by 3. Dividing by 3 would simplify it down to 5 over 2. And so we've got our answer, 5 over 2, which we, of course, have to turn back into its mixed number form. So 5 divided by 2. Doable. Remainder 1. So it's a whole number of 2. Remainder of 1 and keeping the same denominator of 2. And we're done. Two and a half. So Alright, so restating what you just said. This process is turning them into improper fractions, then dividing the fractions, however you want to do the division, and then turning them back into mixed numbers. That is absolutely correct. And of course, we do this process so we can handle issues like this. What's the missing dimension? Well, this is in a situation where we know length times width is going to give you area. So if you divide out by, let's say, the length or the height, that's telling us then the width of a rectangle we can get by taking area divided by the length or the height, however you want to call the variables. Well, this is telling us then that in order to get our missing dimension, we'll have to take the area, 17 and a half, and divide it by the known length that we have, three and a half. All we're doing then is using the area relationship to create the division. And now it's the exact same thing that we were just doing. All we have to do is turn these into fractions. Multiply and add would give us 35 over 2. Multiply and add gives us 7 over 2. And now that we have fractions, we have to actually do the division. Whether you multiply by the reciprocal, same chain flip, use cross multiplying, however you want to do it. I'm looking at it as 35 times 2 is 70. 2 times 7 is 14. And so there's my answer, 70 over 14. And we will have to turn this back into a mixed number. Now, because I think it's easier to do that with smaller numbers, I want to simplify right now. What number will divide into both 70 and 14? 7, of course, works, so we'll divide by 7, which gives us 10 and 2. 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is just 5. There's our answer. We're done. This length over here 
was five inches. And lastly, here's our word problem. You need two and one half inches of ribbon to make a blue ribbon award. How many awards can you make with 35 inches of ribbon? Okay, taking what you just told me, we have to take 35 divided by two and a half. Just like we were doing before, we have to understand the problem well enough to set it up. But now that it's set up, let's go through our process. This is 35 over 1. And we've seen this one a couple times. That's 5 over 2. So 35 times 2 gives me 70. 1 times 5 is 5. And so we have our answer, 70 divided by 5. And if we just divide this stuff out, that's going to give us 14 over 1, which of course is just 14. So, with 35 inches of ribbon, we're able to make 14 of the ribbon awards. That's it. We're done. And you'll notice, just this simple process allows us to address the issues, whether we can multiply or divide fractions. Multiplying, of course, would come from the same change flip, multiplying the reciprocal method. Or if we want to use cross-multiplying, we have to be able to multiply or divide. We have to be able to convert back and forth between mixed numbers and improper fractions. But with those skills, we can apply them and actually accomplish our objective of being able to divide mixed numbers. So that we can figure out missing side lengths, or we could answer word problems.